Hey, what's up, everybody? Alf here with some more Halloween Cup GBL for you. Uh, and also a little reminder, if you are haven't already done so, I'm sure you did. Uh, you can vote for the uh, special cup that's returning this season in GBL on Twitter right now. Uh, if you have voted, let me know what you voted for. It looks like it's going to be between Kanto and Little Cup. Uh, I will be very interested to see how it pans out. I'm holding my vote so far. I'm leaning towards Kanto. I think Little Cup is okay, and it would be slightly different. But Kanto is just such a stable meta that I... Kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. But uh, I'm battling once again with that Toxie team. This is the last time you're going to see this team. I promise. I'll put a different team up tomorrow uh, because this team, I don't necessarily know, is still the sauce. It needs a, a little bit of adjustment. I think Tox Crook is still very good. I think Golbat still very good. But the secondary counter user is just not carrying its weight right now. So uh, I've had some rough days in GBL the last couple. And uh, you'll notice a difference in MMR when uh, that video comes tomorrow. Anyway, I hope you enjoy these battles, friends. Always appreciate you watching. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. All right. Let's get back at it. Let's get back at it. Let's end the day on a positive set, maybe. Oh, 29.79. Jesus. Person is, uh... We got some points to pick up on this. We've got some points to pick up on this Flower Crown Umbreon. What is this? That's a Haunter? They went CMP here, but they're going to shield, and then I'm going to then I'm gonna switch to our, uh... I'm going to switch to our... Mon. I should have switched just faster, right? They could also be on Sludge Bomb, which would be quite unfortunate for us. But they are going to have to shield this. And if they're on Sludge Bomb, they're going to have to shield first. Because the Night Slash, right? Or they're just not going to shield at all. We like that. Do they have... Okay, so Nido Queen... Okay, perfect. We're looking... We're looking great here. We're looking great. I like Haunter too. This is the first Haunter I've seen in the format. And uh, I like it. I, I've always liked the Mon. So, luckily, we have the Golbat to blank this, right? And then we have the Toxicroak to deal with the Umbreon. Now, the thing we have to keep in mind with the Umbreon is that it may have Psychic. <laughs> it may actually have Psychic. So there is a scenario where our Toxicroak loses to it. And honestly, if they're on Psychic Umbreon in the lead, then um, damn, more power to them to an extent, right? Yeah, it, it's also, it, it has some inter interesting other moves too. They're not shielding this. I, I actually just, I want to make sure that I Poison Fang their Umbreon once. I think that will help a lot. Um, And I know they don't have energy. Like they probably shouldn't just stay in here. Because now we get to land a Poison Fang on this thing. And then we, we just respect the first shield probably. I think is our plan. Yeah, I mean we have to we have to shield. Even if they bait us here, we have to shield. Okay, there's foul play. So this could easily be a bait. Feels like a bait, right? There's not a lot of reason to throw. I mean, they could be trying to land a last resort too, so. Ooh, well. It's gonna get dicey here. If it's Psychic, we're dead, and then our Golbat, nope, last resort, doesn't quite do it. Give me that. Yeah. Good work. Good work. I just get that Mud Bomb. It's cool. Oop. GG's. I think we're okay in that anyway, because I think I'm getting to another Poison Fang, if that does kill me. Our worst case scenario was that doesn't kill me. They get like two snarls in and then they kill our goal bat, but um, math worked out for us. GG's. Just rattle off an easy 5-0, right? It's not going to happen. 
I know myself. It's not going to happen. All right, Robber. Another uh, plus ELO matchup for us. Toxy and Scrafty. Another Scrafty lead. You love to see it. There's the Wiggly. The only downside for us here is that I think if they just stick it out in this matchup, they get to an Ice Beam, right? It's not really an outcome we want to play to, so we're going to just throw these. If they want a shield to get to an Ice Beam, then I think we say fine. Yeah, I think they do. But that's going to put us in a position to farm them, right? So we farm them. They got to have a better goal back counter. I mean, I will, Jolty. I will. I'm just going to keep playing and, you know, I will, uh, I'll get there. I'm not really, I haven't been clowning around or anything, so. There's the Scrafty coming back. All right, we'll just throw these. Uh, They could have another Charmer in the back, and that's actually a real problem for us if they do. And uh, because of that, I'm actually going to switch now. Nope, they have Wormadam. Okay. That's fair. It's a little rough for us. Hmm. I actually think we need to, uh, yeah, we need to shield a bug buzz. There's some scenarios still for them to win this game. So I, uh, I, that swap did not do us any favors, right? But here's what's going to happen. We're going to get the shield here. And then we're going to be able to switch. And unless, if this is a foul play, a foul play, I think we outrace them. It is. Okay. And I think we can kill them because I think they need the pup damage. Yeah, we're good. It's close. Obviously, like, they're probably one away, but... I just didn't want to... Uh, I mean, that was kind of the worst thing we could have seen back there. Um, what I didn't want... What I didn't want was... Um, I didn't want uh, to just find another Charmer back there and realize our Golbat was dead, right? That was kind of where I was at. But the Confusion user was definitely a bad Mon to find back there, and it almost, it almost, it almost punted us. Uh, Sourworm, I see your draw redemption, by the way. I see your draw redemption. I will get it. He wants me to draw a shiny Spinneract going up the water spout. You've been watching a little bit of Thomas, haven't you? You have, haven't you? Uh, I will do that after this GBL set, all right? If you're fans of poorly drawn MS Paint drawings, uh, I have good news for you. One of them is coming. One of them is coming. <laughs> Thanks for the good vibes, Dem. Nice to see you. I hope you're doing well. All right. Iozali. Let's go. What do you got for us? We got Toxie and a Zwilus. Ooh, I like that. Good lead for us. Our opponent um, is not in this game. Hi. Oh no, opponent. Womp womp. I'm just gonna. Congrats, Dem. This is unfortunate. I don't want them just getting in and running us over, but it unfortunately just did not. The game did not let him back in. So my apologies, opponent. I hope the rest of your games go better than that. I think we're favored in that game by a pretty hefty margin, but. There's always ways to win. That Golbat safe swap is one of the things I worry about. The problem is, is that regardless of what I do on the Golbat safe swap, um, if they win switch advantage, it doesn't actually help them that much um, because Toxie is so good against their team and Obstagoon is also very good against their first two mons. So it's pretty hard for them to recover from that. I think we're favored there. It doesn't mean they can't outplay us, but I think we're favored in that matchup pretty heavily. Legend push I, again. I, I there's no such thing as a legend push on this channel. I'm gonna keep battling. 
and I'm gonna battle probably every day this week in Halloween Cup. If we get to Legend, then it was a Legend push. Hooray. If we don't get to Legend, then I don't feel bad about saying I was pushing for Legend and then failing. You see what I you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? All right, Maru, let's go. Galv lead. How do I play it? Uh, I just try and beat it with Toxie. We've played a couple of those today, actually. Ooh, an Azu lead. This is actually a tricky lead for us as well. Let's see if I can get him to uh, respect respect shield a sludge bomb. We have we have won this matchup today. Okay, there's a respect shield. I like it. A too big brain for the legend push. Let's go. There's the ice beam. Okay. So we definitely can counter them down. We found that out today. The problem is, or at least we think we found that out today. They are going to get to another charge move here. I'm pretty sure. So the question is, do we just shield this and say the odds of your back bonds being good? At yeah, you know what? The odds of your back bonds being great against Toxie with the Azu in the lead, I feel like are relatively low. Your own Toxie. I think they're one behind us. This is also locked though, right? They just switch locked this in. I should not get cute here. We're not getting cute here. This fucker's locked, so we're going to farm him. I would like to catch a mud bomb. Like that is something I, I would prefer than letting them throw sludge bombs here. But the sludge bombs don't do that much. And um, be able to just farm this thing entirely down is pretty great. We're going to take two sludge bombs in the process, which isn't awesome. But I, I actually like throwing. I actually like the throwing the mud bomb. That doesn't bother me. Just bad things. Just bad things. And we're just gonna we're gonna be hucking we're gonna be hucking uh poison fang at whatever comes in because if it's azu i just want it dead i don't care if i waste the energy and if it's something like drapeon i'm happy throwing one and then switching oh actually i can't switch yet well i have another two so And I'll win CMP over their Azu, so I'm not actually worried about that. Hi, right, let's just put a bunch of damage on you. It's fine. I'll die. I'm okay with that. And then we'll bring the other counter user in. Good attempt to catch. They're going to concede from there. Okay, GG's. Uh, yeah, there was still a shield in play. Yeah, yeah, there was still a shield in play. So, like, my my logic was, okay, I could go to bat immediately, but, like, it, it definitely allowed us to just really go ham on the farming. So, I kind of liked that. I kind of liked that. There were some pretty narrow margins there, but um, I was also just, I'll be honest, I say this all the time, I'm a little bit slow <laughs> sometimes. I'm a little bit slow sometimes. And uh, in that scenario where, like, it came in, I wasn't super sure what I wanted to do. So it took me a second. Like, I'm going to mud bomb it. I think it's still good value. They had a shield left over because of um, the way we played that. And uh, and then I I put together the plan while I was doing the bubbles. Yeah, I, I think we're playing for a 5-0. One of them was a little sus because we had a, a lag out on our opponent's side. But I do believe we are playing for the actual factual 5-0. So... But yeah, sometimes I'm slow and my decision making is not as sharp as it needs to be. <laughs> so I can sometimes, I'll sometimes use that charge move as a buffer. It's, it's bad value generally, but in that scenario, I think it was actually pretty good value for us. <laughs> First time chatter, one message was deleted by a moderator. That's, that's pretty great. <laughs> that's pretty great. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry for, uh, XT Pokemon. Hey, it's Gengineer. Good luck, Gengineer. I know this name. I know this name. A uh, Galv. Hey, you're wondering how I play the Galv lead. You wonder how I play the Galv lead. Yeah, it's J Engineer. It's Josh. 
So. I'm not going to shield this. I'm very much hoping it's not a discharge, but I'm not shielding this. Fuck, God damn it. Every single time I change the pattern, I get fucking murdered. Um, okay, so what do we do? Now we're now we're in actual trouble. Um, super annoyed by that. I'm not going to lie. Super annoyed. Oh, no. And then there's Drology back here. This is just bad for us. We we don't have the we don't have the tools to we don't have the tools to beat this. Like uh these these are just Pokemon that are like dare I say they're just good against kind of what we're doing. Yeah, you know, y'all make it seem so easy to uh like just no shield in that matchup. Well, we might find we're going to probably we probably will find out what their third Pokemon is. But it's going to be it's going to be a challenge. If it's jelly, then there's no way we win. Well, I guess I still have the. Uh... The problem is we're going to get killed by a lunge. That's the problem. So I need them not to have lunge here. I need to be able to get two counter. Okay, so no, it's a quill fish. That's also kind of bad for us. Mostly because they're just still ahead. Well, they're not ahead on shields anymore, but like I kind of needed a I kind of need a boost because I think this is going to get real dicey here. Um, I die to a sludge wave. Aqua Tail doesn't kill me though. The problem now is that if this is an Aqua Tail, I kind of want to generate some energy. Note Sludge Wave. That does kill me. GG's. Ugh. We CMP'd on the Sludge Wave. I mean, there still might have been a charge move on the, uh, on the, uh, what's it called? Ugh. I mean, again, B Busta, it, it, the Toxic Galve matchup is not something you should look at Sims for. I mean, you should look at Sims, but you should play in Sandbox mode. You should play in Sandbox mode. There's tons of opportunities for you to win that matchup. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, I should have shielded. I should have shielded. It's a Garatna. It's a really bad Garatna. 